Ladies and gentlemen, people of YouTube and beyond, however you're watching, welcome back to the dojo. As always, I'm Ryu, joined by Age, and we're back. It's uh, it's been a while. Um, I was down with COVID. Uh, my mom got COVID, so I got COVID. Then I had a hardware problem. Big F in the chat and the comments for my 980 Ti for its near six years of service. Um, so I had to deal with hardware issues after the whole COVID stuff. So. Yeah, that was a quick TLDR of why we were gone. We um, had a bigger explanation in our um, like announcement episode uh, that came out on Wednesday. So check that out if you haven't seen it. We also talk about Hell of a Boss. So if you're interested in that, uh, check that out. Um, it's it's on the channel. It's right there. It's it's there. So check that out if you're interested and want a slightly longer explanation as to why we were gone. But yeah, we're back and we are now on to uh, Log Horizon. Back at it season three now on to episode nine so we're almost done with the season um and we have uh finally been uh, introduced to those uh two twin uh wolf girl characters that we saw in the intro um they are apparently the oldest of the ancients and uh are uh now out of their 50 years of hibernation now that uh this is no longer game world and they are apparently now relevant again <sighs> that being said, they were also apparently part of a big collection trap quest, which I remember talking about uh, <laughs> the last time uh, in our last reaction video, which, man, I, I've been part of those in some MMOs, and I, I feel, uh, feel Tetra's pain, so... <laughs> yeah, I don't blame her for not wanting them around, but... Apparently there's some sort of genius on the way, and uh, they, they're they probably going to have to help with that in some way, shape, or form. So, it's it's going to be a thing, and yeah, that's pretty much all I remember from the, the previous episode. Also, Akatsuki had the eavesdropping line, I believe, in that episode, which was hilarious. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah she did. She was eavesdropping on the Tetra explanation of the track quest. Right. But yeah, going into this one, it's, uh, I assume the last couple episodes of the season, since we got all the, uh, Konami stuff, um, with, uh, Krusty and all that going on on the, uh, on the China server, uh, maybe we'll see more of them, maybe in the last episode, like, hinted at or something like that, but, uh, the last uh, couple episodes here are probably just gonna be dealing with stuff here, um, maybe we'll see a little bit of, uh, Lanessia's forced vacation uh to go pick up crusty on the big boat but uh <laughs> i'd assume for the next episode or two here um at the very least they'll be um dealing with the uh weird creepy like ghost genius thing i i forget exactly what it looked like but it was like a like a i forget the term for those things but um yeah, it's like a big like wood spirit that's like glowy. I, I really I know there's a term for those things, but it's it's eluding me right now. But either way, um that's probably what we got going on here uh, for the next episode or so. And maybe some more creepy uh Shiro planning. <laughs> Stuff of that nature. So let's uh let's dive on in and see uh the continuation of their uh their conversation i guess because it still looks like it's the same night and they're still in uh let's eat all the food town so here goes something akihabara is being targeted mm, by a real big scary guy named Uranus. Linka tried to fight him once but he was too strong the brave warriors of the protector knights mush and Oki and porcini they all got injured in the fight too who are the Protector Knights? You weren't the only one fighting them, Lika. I was there too, you know. So how long ago did this happen? It's been about 10 days since then, Shiro Shiro. Shiro Shiro? Sounds like that fight was a raid. Mm -hmm. All the monsters in the underground empire joined the enemy side and started attacking us. So we were like, forget this, and then we ran away. That's interesting. Oh, uh, Shiro, are we okay? The sisters are at level 65, and they're good fighters, which means the enemy is at most level 70. That's much lower than the summoner genius, Terracton. Okay, but there are other types of geniuses at different levels, like Kamaisar. Oh no. 
We probably don't need to worry about anything just yet. I'll report it to the Roundtable Conference, just in case. You're so cute! It's now or never, squad member Minori. You get your cute butt in that office and ask Shiro out on a date. But I... Come in. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, that was a solid John nope out right there. Adoration. Uh-oh. <laughs> it was really nice of you to let the sisters stay with us for a while. Thank you so much. It's kind of nice to have them here. They've also been a wealth of information. However, some of what they said concerns me. But on the plus side, at least they gave us a heads up. <laughs> They've been helpful. We fought Terrakton together, so you know intel is essential. In order to win a raid, information is everything. You have to know your team, their powers, equipment, and skills. If you have enough supplies, the terrain of the battle... Crazy what an MMO is like without DBM. And most importantly, know your foe. So your decision to let the girls stay here was a wise move, Minori. Ah! Oh, yeah, it totally was, right? <laughs> So those sisters aren't so useless after all. Did they really do something bad to Tetra? Yeah, sort of. Mm -hmm. Ow! Hey, what gives? It's so not fair that you're always sparkly and well-groomed. Huh? That's why I want to give you and Minori makeovers, because it's almost too easy. Plus, it's more fun than dressing myself up any day. Then why did you yank on my ears so hard? Because it relaxes me. Well, lucky me. You seem to be in a good mood today. Uh-huh. Minori let me pick out the clothes that she's wearing today. When she's dressed up that cute, even serious Mr. Shiro's heart will go pitter-patter. Don't you think she's just way too adorable to resist, Rudy? Hey, you listening? Look, Miss Isuzu. What's up? All of this stuff with Miss Minori. Please stop. You're pushing her way too much. What? It's like an unspoken rule among girls to root for each other's love interests. I'm only encouraging squad member Minori to have more self-confidence. <sighs> Jeez, Rudy. You really don't know anything about women at all. Aw, oh, man. Why me? Because you're Natsuku. <laughs> I'm sure there's much to prepare. What all do we have to do? How do I put this? It's as if we have a great idea for a movie, but we've only come up with... Is all that so text really necessary? Something like Operation <laughs> Rescue Mr. Krusty, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying About Coming Home from Vacation on the Urid Continent and Do My Real Job. It would be helpful if we had a clear idea... Hold on, fucking visual novel name scheme there. If this were just a raid on the Yamato server, we'd be fine. But this is our first excursion to a foreign server after the apocalypse. <laughs> I know, right? Excuse me, Minori. You busy today? Yeah, yeah. We could go shopping, just like you mentioned. <laughs> yeah, sure. Huh? All right. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready to go? First, we'll go to Superclass Market. Okay. There's so much stuff here. When preparing for a raid, the most important items are resistance potions. With general secret treasure class equipment, the damage from same level alignment magic attacks can be reduced by an average of 25%. I've been looking for you, Minori. Uh -huh. Hey, Akatsuki. Aren't you dedicated? Well, kinda. I can memorize them easier with everything organized. Got a minute? I'll be using the teacher system, so I need to have a member in front of me. Oh, sure. I forgot that you're chaperoning us tomorrow. Are you getting a head start or something? My movement and agility are affected whenever I reduce my level. I want to check it out first to see what I can do. <laughs> Whoa, she's amazing. How was your shopping trip with my lord? Huh? <clears throat> did you learn anything? Yeah, sure did. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh. <laughs> hmm? A smile? 
I am also a beginner when it comes to raids. Really? To tell you the truth, I've only been in two raids before. My lord needs me, so I have to get stronger. Good morning, everyone! Hello, peoples. Where is everyone? Minori! Oh, thank goodness! I was starting to think I was the only one here. Something kind of weird's going on. The adults are totally MIA. Huh? And the Mofer sisters. They're always the first ones to wake up and ready to devour breakfast. And what's up with the color of the sky? Everything's a little bit odd. It's really starting to creep me out. You guys, this isn't good, huh? Akihabara is likely under attack. Wait, an attack? From who? <clears throat> of course, it's Arenas. All right, and that sure looks like the preview that we don't watch. Um. Okay, so. This was basically like a setup episode, which is fine. Yeah. Um, based on the episode title adoration, we just got to see uh, more of uh, Minori's crush on Shiro and their date. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so that was a thing. And what I will say that I appreciated about this episode uh, the most is the fact that they went back into like just general like actual game mechanic stuff like the whole raid stuff like resistances how how items work um positively and negatively um as they showed with that little uh thing where that guy was resisting fire and then got turned to ice cubes <laughs> so that that was impressive um it's always nice when they bring that back just just as that reminder of like this is still a game world Th those mechanics still matter they're still a thing they're still important and uh yeah, I appreciated that. So that was a nice little addition to this episode along with just like um the setup for um Age and I were talking about it during the uh the ED there is that this genius this is one of two things. This genius either has like an area of influence that, you know, only uh entities or characters or whatever it may be of his level and below can enter it. So like you know, Shiro's level nine mid nineties team just can't come in here and stomp him. Um, we saw like uh with uh Minori's team when they were walking around the guild hall there that a bunch of like weird, creepy phasing was going on with the walls. So um I'm leaning more toward that this is the the work of the genius. While it could be the senior members like testing them ahead of time somehow with some sort of like a uh, um like zone altering magic like kind of like a like a holodeck star trek just like a training thing um it very well could still just be the genius attacking the town i i'm leaning more towards it being some sort of like level restriction zone uh yeah. basically just forcing it forcing instancing where it's like anyone above the certain level gets forced into their own instance away from the lower levels right and especially with that whole thing going on with akatsuki she was supposed to like be uh, teaching them on this day that this is going on so it'd be a little weird if they had that planned and then it's like oh wait no this is we're gonna do this big uh like uh just like mock battle with a with a like a like a foe genius for them to to take on um so well that's kind of on the table yeah. a little bit and like a possibility i'm still more leaning toward like that's the first frame of the freaking preview um, I assume it's just the work of the genius with like a level restriction zone, as you were saying. So uh, the lower level members are going to have to, you know, step up and deal with this. One thing that's potentially interesting on the Akatsuki thing, though, is uh, if the mentoring system works, Akatsuki might actually still be here. Right, because it it depends on if she turned it off or not. You know, like when they uh, when they call it a day. Yeah, she could have very well just spent most of the night training and just not turned it off so she could potentially still be lurking around here if the mentoring system bypasses this level restriction field. Right. And they did have that whole uh, 
thing of her mentioning that she's only been on two raids before so that could be their way of like working her into uh being part of another raid group because she just left the mentoring system on and is uh, in the correct level range to uh uh help with this uh genius but yeah this it was just, it was a solid uh episode i liked it like i said the uh the whole game mechanic explanation i always appreciate that you know shiro teaching uh Nori about just general raid stuff um shiro definitely comes off as the guy who would supply a whole raid and not be like okay you know hey everybody show up with your own consumables and stuff like that i'm not just gonna i'm not gonna do this every week no shiro would probably do it every week <laughs> no yeah he's he's definitely one of those top end players who just like sits there and goes out of his way to get everything necessary himself because he doesn't want he's a he's a micromanager he wants to make sure everything goes off the way he wants it to go off because he's the big strategist right and that can't happen if uh all of the uh, members of the group or raid are uh ill-equipped let's say and don't have the stuff that he would expect or need them to have based on what he's trying to strategize like oh well how did you explode right there oh you didn't have the explosion potion well this is exactly why i bring all this stuff just uh just so that stuff doesn't happen <laughs> so yeah just not too much to like really break down or even really talk about it was a solid episode i liked it the game mechanic stuff you know, Minori and Shiro had their date. Uh, you know, that's being forced. But, you know, it it is what it is. It's just typical, like, you know, I, uh, random, like, rom-com nonsense. Yeah, I typically... Honestly, I still don't feel like that's actually going to ever be a thing. Uh, even the show is kind of dropping hints that it's never going to actually be a thing. Like with the whole thing with like Rudy talking to Isuzu, like saying Isuzu is trying to push it too hard. It's like, there's, there's other things as well, but like, that's the big thing from this episode of like the show itself even seems to be going for like, no, it's not ever actually going to be a thing. Right. If he's going to end up with anyone, it's probably going to be a Kotsky. Right. And that's, you know, and, and especially in shows like this, it's, uh, well, we've talked about this before, especially in that episode with, uh, that MHA episode with Ochako there at the end of the, uh, training matches in, uh, in, uh, My Hero Academia, like, if they do any kind of romance in shows like this, like, Log Horizon might be leaning more toward a, a show that would do it more so than, like, a, a typical shonen like, uh, MHA, um, but... It's always it it happens at the end of the series or it doesn't happen at all kind of thing. Yeah, because writing actual romance and not just like rom com is uh difficult and most don't want to even bother with it. Right. So biggest example out there is obviously the Naruto series with the whole thing with him and Hinata for like 850,000 episodes however many episodes that show ended up being between the first series and Shippuden um that was just a thing for like the entire series and then you know they got married and got together and you know moved into the next series with the uh, and there wasn't even any real like significant romantic lead up or anything to it it's just then suddenly they're married yeah it was it was just like yeah oh Hinata's liked me this whole time huh well I've liked her too I guess Let's get married. It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, that, that's like one of the biggest examples that like I know of personally that I've seen. But I know there are other shows that do uh, similar things that are just like, okay, yeah, this is a thing. It's a potentially a thing. We're just going to drag it on. Okay, here at the end of the series, uh, X and Y get together. You know what I mean? Oh, speaking of which, Bleach. You know, Bleach does a lot of that too. Um but I haven't confirmed this myself, but one of, uh, over in the League Discord, uh, one of them mentioned that it's from the sounds of it, they actually might be continuing the Bleach anime finally to catch up to a lot of that manga, a lot of the manga that continued for well after the anime ended. Right, because they are doing their, like, 20th anniversary, uh, just general release of something going on with a Bleach, so, yeah, they might continue it. 
um especially just keeping on the track of the romance stuff uh bleach was just like one-sided or he may has a crush on ichigo you know what i mean and then there was um the uh, spot the previous espada what was her name nell i believe was her name had like a big crush on ichigo yeah or he may and Neliel both had uh crushes on ichigo and then there would occasionally be like random spats of like romantic tension between him and rukia but they never really went anywhere with actual romance right for any of them yeah and there was a couple other just like typical rom-com stuff uh between the other captains and stuff like that um but that's just standard random nonsense like that so that is what it is um it'll be interesting to see if they do continue uh bleach because i did enjoy that show as a whole um even if it is a like a big super series uh like naruto or one piece that kind of thing yeah bleach um, was never bleach was never amazing but it was still something that was entertaining to throw on every week right it's is it the best show ever of course not um it's it's watchable it's interesting um my only big gripe with it was uh that big hiatus they took um after the grim Zhao fight and then they had it was a solid season i had no real issues with that season it was just like you know and here's like a 30 episode you know season and a half two seasons of like filler before we go back to the main story it's like okay <laughs> <laughs> it was not necessarily bad the whole um living zompok toe arc was interesting and pretty cool but it's just like really you're doing this now kind of thing um, yeah but who knows i never really looked into why or why um that why they may or may not have had to do like an entire like anime original season during that there might have been reasons just leave it at that i, I don't know who knows but you know it, that kind of stuff is what it is but yeah, if they continue Bleach, that'd be neat. Another thing we could throw up on the channel here. I, I, I'm i definitely a fan of Bleach and would like to see what, what they do with it. And to catch up with the actual manga, that'd be cool. But, Needs um... More right. The, the whole Kenpachi thing, actually getting his Zanpakuto back and having a Shikai, Bankai, that kind of thing, that, that definitely would be a thing to see. Um... But going back to the Log Horizon stuff, yeah, this was a it was a solid just like just just like a neat little explanation. Um back to the game mechanic stuff, Shiro teaching Minori about um raid stuff and then like the little like teacher moments with Tetra and Natsuku, that kind of thing. Um like as a build up to like uh having their team be like an actual like uh functioning raid party. Uh which is just basically like uh, more world building, more future building that they're going to be part of uh, as they get uh, higher in level, obviously, as the series, uh, it, as we mentioned before, which will hopefully uh, have a season, season four after all the stuff that went on with the studio and the creator and stuff like that. Um, it's just more general world building, more character building for the fact that they will obviously be part of bigger raids in the future, um, whatever yeah, the uh, future holds for whatever it may be you know more geniuses whatever the future threats are yeah i mean the, from a writing perspective the whole point of having minori and whatnot in log horizon itself is the guild is so that way we have some form of like uh some form of newbie perspective of like them learning the world and that kind of that kind of character progression because we can't get any of that from the main cast because they were all already level capped to begin with right the closest thing we can really get from any of that is akatsuki because she was inexperienced in raids she played solo pretty much exclusively right but she had still done most of like the stuff that is like soloable and she knew you know uh, the majority of yeah, things she still, or uh, she was that. still experienced in the game she was just inexperienced when it came to the raids because she was a relatively new player who played predominantly solo right well, yeah, this solid setup episode, um, going back to what we were saying about that earlier before we uh, got a little sidetracked there, it's probably um, uh, the actual threat of the genius, just like um, having a, uh, a level restriction zone and uh, Minori's team is going to have to be the ones who deal with that. Um, and with the potential of Akatsuki being uh, dragged in by the fact that, you know, 
it's easy to write in that, oh, I forgot to turn off the mentor system, so I'm still, you know, lower level. Which yeah, would like make said, sense I... so that she also gets more raid experience. Yeah, what, just like I said, like between the fact that she specifically dropped that she doesn't have very much raid experience, she already has a fairly close relationship with Minori, and then it very, would be very much in character for her to have just left it on the entire night and just to be sent there for, again, training right. with it on. So that's that's more than likely what it is. It could the, the whole like senior members testing them is still kind of on the table, but that I'm thinking more like ninety versus ten percent on that, honestly. So looking forward to that. Um, and yeah, solid episode again. And yeah, we got three episodes after this because this was episode nine. Um, so. Yeah, I'm assuming that we'll get the resolution to the genius stuff and then there'll be some like um maybe like cliffhanger kind of thing, maybe what's going on in the the West with like Plant Who You in the last episode, something like that. Because it, it seems like especially based on the light novel title of their uh of their group there of what they're doing with Krusty, um, they're not just hopping on the boat and going to get him immediately right now. They're just going. They're they're gonna talk about it for a while. <laughs> so yeah it's more gonna be more of like an actual mini raid mission from the sounds of it right so yeah so next episode um genius related stuff and minori probably uh kind of coming into her own as a strategist slash raid leader slash using all her uh items correctly that kind of thing um continue to try to become mini shiro yeah the mi mini shiro intensifies so that should be cool um yeah i pretty much said all i needed to say about this one you got anything else for us age yeah. good Alrighty then well then ladies and gentlemen people of youtube and beyond however you're watching we always appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with us here in the dojo for more anime night in the dojo which is making its return after our uh after our hiatus because of my uh, COVID family situation and my hardware situation. But we're back. Um, so look forward to our schedule being back on track here. So yeah, we're back and we're excited to be back. So thank you for hanging out with us. And if you enjoy our content, you know, drop a subscription, drop a like, maybe a comment if you feel like it. We appreciate any and all support you give us here. So have a good morning, evening, afternoon, whatever it is for you to watch. Have a good one. And we will see you next time.